Oh, it's su- such a brave statement. Such a brave stance you took, Aiden. Oh, you're so fucking brave. Fuck you. What a brave stance you took. That's Sunrise Productions. All right, let's see here. Our car is fucking packed to the... We got, we got shirts. I don't know if you can see. I organized them by size, so... If you're in Orlando, come see us and give a shirt. These people are so stingo. We didn't even fight. Call thing. It didn't make me that mad. Like, I made up my mind when I hung up that I just wasn't going to call back. But that, for me, I don't know about everybody else, but for me, that doesn't mean, that doesn't necessitate the fact that I'm angry. I was just like, fuck this shit. This dude does this every time. I'm not calling back. The, the thing that made me angry was the fucking text messages this fat, greasy-wristed bastard sent me afterwards. Uh, they were fucking retarded, and he knows damn good and well that he would not say that shit to my fucking face, okay? You can't stick your thumb in my asshole, fat man. It's not going to fucking happen. Look, what's on what's on me is the fact that I just don't fucking like dealing with your gay shit anymore, okay? That's what's on me. And what's on you is the fucking fact that you are like a woman. You texted me like 11 times last night to my two in response, and then you fucking said the most petty, stupid fucking shit to me. And like, you know, it's just fuck that guy. So, yeah, now, now I'm mad about that. But All right. Well, just, just uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad. It. I'm glad we established that you were not mad about that phone call. <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> said that he's done more for white people than me. Okay, but by by yeah. doing what? By hosting his show. So what? What this guy said to me is that hey, the fact that I host a show where I have better men than myself on who speak about ideas that I don't even fucking hold. All right, that fact alone means that I've done more for you, more for white people than you have. Fuck you, Al. He's like, I've gotten guests you'll never get. Like who, bitch? Like who? You know who's been on my fucking show? No, you don't, because you don't fucking pay attention to shit. All you do is eat fucking Oreos all day and see whose butthole you can take your thumb in. You have no fucking idea what you're talking about. You don't know me. You don't know my fucking show, and that's fine. But don't comment on it like you do. I've had fucking... Uh, Rand knows I've had Blair Cottrell on, I've had Mark Collette on, I've had fucking everybody from TRS on this motherfucker. I had Kevin McDonald on. Bitch, I've had every fucking body, but it's not a Fuck pissing yeah. con. All it, all it means is you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Ralphie boy. Have you ever fucking put groceries in the refrigerator of a poor white family who lost their daughter to a Mexican drunk driver? I didn't fucking think so. You ever fucking saved another Boer South African's farm? With the help of your fucking listenership? I didn't think so, bitch! You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. All I fucking do, other than be a family man, is live my fucking life and make every decision that comes into my fucking life for white people. It's my family, and then it's my fucking race. And then you want to say you've done more for whites because what? Because you sit drunk on your fucking podcast and interrupt good shit and just sit there and soak it up like a dog watching somebody do math? Or, uh, or, uh, fuck you, bitch! Fuck you. That that's what made me mad. Don't you know that fucking cocksucker's gonna act like he's done more for white people than me? Are you fucking kidding me? You don't know you don't fucking care about anything, Ralph. Scream after this show and yell and drop a bunch of slurs. The, 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 uh, no, no, no Dingo, 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 you do that on yours. We're not gonna do that here. Dingo, thank you for joining us. I'm gonna take you off here. No, by the way, no, can I say this? I wanna say this, right Dingo. Now. By the way, Dingo was spurging out in chat. And he's actually spurging out of me right now. Can I just say fuck Dingo? And he's a huge fucking Spurg, and like I thought he was leaving. I thought he was leaving to go do guy. his. I thought I he was leaving. Dingo. Yeah, I don't care. I really don't care what you guys love. I'm speaking for myself. I was. I, the guy said he was leaving to go do his stream, and now he's like, "Oh, Ralph, Ralph won't let me talk about white victimization, and Ralph stopping me from saying what I want." Dingo, you're a fucking loser, and the only reason even anybody even gives a fuck what you think is because of me. That's the god's honest truth. You're a fucking loser. Never come back on this show. Fuck off and die. By the way, whoever said I was trying to save the white race, I never understood that. By the way, that Sunrise Reduction is just T-Clips. It's T-Clips, and all they do is make videos about me because nobody cares about anybody else. No. Oh, that's an old one. Okay, that's an old one. Oh, yeah, I think we did fight on that one. <laughs> Holy shit. That feels hilarious. That's pretty funny. I got to give credit on the thumbnail. Worski left it when he fucking... He just, he was so scared of me, he left the fucking country and just like, left all of his shit. I fucking gave his PlayStation away to the dude I had rent the place after. I had no, I had no reason to rent it, so I had to fucking put the guy that lived across the street and needed a new place, so I let him like sublet it for me, even though you're not supposed to. Yeah. Um, and I just gave him Worski's PlayStation, I was like, you can have it, I don't know. Here, I'll throw the PlayStation up. I literally 
Morning, our Clis Award spent time inside a subway station in Target, 
It's in the east of Ukraine. It had been turned into a bomb shelter. That's what happened. We've seen church basements, uh, subway stations, and look at this, how crowded it is. Everyday citizens fleeing there for safety among the explosions that they were hearing from the Russian onslaught. Clarissa spoke to one woman who, like so many here, said she never this believed This is CNN live feed, by the way. That's why I got sick. <laughs> <laughs> That's all our CNN made it throw up. Neighbor, can, can just come and just grab our land and tell us what to do. Okay. And uh, okay. we are dependent country of Ukraine. As the onslaught continues. That really captured the emotion that interview that Clarissa did because... Crumble that up inside, throw that shit up. That's my plan, nigga. <laughs> relatively normal a few days ago and now the insecurity... Don't get that shit on my truck. Panic. Um, and you just Make sure it's it there, Oh my so God! Clearly. Aaron, okay. thank you. We'll check back with you. President Biden. Yeah, yeah. Get, oh my God! Why would you do that? Why those are not happening today? So we're live at the White House next. Danny, get on you. I don't fucking know. You can't throw something out at full speed down the road. It's time to unwind and get wistful. Five hours of winter themed classics just for you. Inside the season's most aching melancholic music. The ultimate winter melancholy music mix. Exclusively at the top of the SXM app. When your manhood bends in a different direction, visit PDURO.com to find a urologist. Man, shut up with that shit. There's no way that's not all. Relationship questions ready. Your sex questions ready. We're investigating these celebrities. Get your questions ready for that too. 9:30 p.m. Eastern. Killstream.live slash show. I'm also going to watch this Russell Crowe movie called Unhinged. I'm hoping he beats somebody's brains out with a motherfucking telephone. We shall see. But either way, the Killstream live tonight. 9:30 p.m. Eastern. Farewell. <laughs> Thank you.